Hello Pisces, welcome to Just Bird Tarot. This is your reading from now until the end of December. Welcome, let's see what's going on for you, dear Pisces, from now until the end of December. Okay, we have some temptation, could be dealing with Capricorn. We have Pisces on the board as well. Um, looks like some of you are single and maybe Oh, what are we waiting on? The Knight of Swords. Waiting for somebody to come in, possibly for a conversation or to do something, to go somewhere, whatever. Okay, so what do we have? We have High Priestess and the King of Wands with the Nine of Cups. So are we getting a lot of it? <laughs> if you know what I'm saying, the passion. Are we getting a lot while we are single? Can you see those? I'm sorry, the light. What are you thinking about? <laughs> um, is this a work thing? You know, where we're feeling really loved at work or abundant. We could have, this could be very unhealthy behavior as well. Um, some of you could be mingling on the job <laughs> or co <laughs> cohorting with a coworker. And it could be a fresh new start for some of you with this um, Aries energy of the fool anyway so what are we leaping into is it a career is this love even though we're single we're feeling free and alive and we're just ready to go you manifested something but you could have manifested something that <laughs> is toxic right or they could be a capricorn in your love we have um king of cups as well as temptation which is devil energy and um the high priestess so did somebody do some dark magic or something um to like some form of manipulation to get love in their life and now you're just like you know what yeah i did and i was hot in my pants but i'm still single ready to mingle and let loose and be free so it's a time of adventure um it's a time of freedom and self-love but it seems like maybe <laughs> you're not really you're just not committed to anyone at this time it doesn't appear that you are um committed to anyone at this time you're just kind of sorry about that um running wild and free and enjoying yourself let's see what we'll pull some tea cards and some other oracles let's see so are you taking a trip or are you just at a beginning new phase in life where you're feeling energetic alive and free is it because you knocked some boots with someone made you feel um really attractive and passionate are is somebody being a little too aggressive um when it comes to love and you're just like nah like her back like she's comfortable right seems like this woman knocked some boots with this person over here and she just wants to be single he probably still wants to pursue her <laughs> in some kind of way but she's like nah i'm good i'm really comfortable on my own and just enjoying the single life and looking forward to adventures and adventures with kings of cups as well it's not like you know some of you have an unhealthy partner in your life too and you're keeping it a secret you know and maybe there's a little bit of embarrassment or shame or denial involved but it is a secret some of you are having a secret relationship even though you're single and comfortable and everything you're having you know you're not in some boots and they could be with someone else they may be committed to someone else since they are a king of cups and we have king of wands there could be two people but i'm just going to say that it's like somebody did the deed with some some possibly with somebody else's love let me see we have um hidden secrets can harm you see like i said the secrets keeping it secret unhealthy and toxic which is temptation and you know double energy um and high priestess energy with hidden secrets hidden information hidden knowledge you know keeping something hidden um target 
a goal-oriented person, that's like, um, you know, King of Wands is very determined energy there, you know, and they have their eye on the prize, unfortunately. They, they want you, and you're like comfortable being alone, or vice versa, you know, if, if, if you're a male pursuing female, she's more comfortable alone. Um, read it as you will, you know, male, female, whatever. I see gender, but today's world, you know, it's kind of whatever you assign yourself. So maybe you are a male, but identify as female or are leaning more toward, um, you know, your emotional side, feminine energy, you know, but I'm just going to read it like that <laughs> you know somebody's very comfortable and the other one wants to pursue passion and they're being very aggressive about it and you're just like ah, oh, i want an adventure you know that was fun maybe we'll do it again but i don't want a commitment let's see we've got a rat um someone working against you behind your back like i said that could be that's that toxic energy there Let's see, one more. And we have a mountain, so there will be challenges. It's this major challenge to overcome. I, you tell me what that is for you because I'm not sure. If it's like the challenge of b being single, staying single, and not mingling. <laughs> like not messing with other people's people. You know, don't do that. That's hurtful behavior if that is you. And hopefully no one's doing it. Um, to you. We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy coming in here for you um, toward the end of the month, Pisces. Let's see. So are you unhealthy? Are you having some unhealthy behavioral things or are you trying to control a love situation? Are we addicted to just being single? And you know, I don't know. This is a weird read. <laughs> Let's see. Um, we have Merlin. All right. Manifestation, alchemy, magic, the magician. Again, we have the high priestess and now we have the magician. So what are we manifesting? Because it's not good. You know, it could be very addictive. Something could have went wrong. There's like something's out of control. And it's being hidden and it's secretive. Somebody's keeping secrets. It seems like somebody's piddling with somebody else's person. Okay, let me see. Let's, I'm just going to pull oracles now for you, dear Pisces. Well, let's see. Aren't you precious? The answer to a question is maybe. Um, power of a three, divine timing. But aren't you precious? Somebody... You know the saying, aren't you precious? If they're being facetious and sarcastic, like you little twit, aren't you precious doing all your dirt, smiling in my face like that? You know, if it's someone that you know, or your person or whatever, or you, um, a stick in the mud. And the answer is yes, at power of a nine, number 45. So endings, but being a stick in the mud, somebody doesn't want to change. Somebody could literally be stuck. We'll pull one more here. I don't see any stuck energy though, but somebody could just be a stickler. Like they're not going to budge. They're being ornery and stubborn. Um, better watch out before I cream your corn. <laughs> so, see, somebody, somebody's inter... If you're messing with somebody else's person, be mindful that they, they may find out and they will be pissed. What does this say at the bottom? Um, oh, I can't read it. Something. Do not quit. <laughs> do not quit. Don't give up. Um, but watch watch out because somebody, somebody wants to clock someone. You know, like somebody's looking for cruising for a bruise in there and that is the power of 75 breaks down or is that 15 no 75 okay so that's a power of a three as well so we have three three nine or six nine oh lord <laughs> let me get let me just um keep going we'll go to the my sweet romance deck 
I'm also going to pull some karma cards just to see what the karma is for whoever this is that's piddling with another person or creating um, who's the one that's out of control and it could be with an addiction it could be um, verbal it could be abusive it could be you know really bad behavioral problems I don't really like to say narcissist because that is I am not a psychologist and people are calling people narcissists that like you know we all kind of fall on the spectrum you know from one end to the other and we've all done something that could appear to be completely narcissistic right so I don't like to um, look at that I do not like to do that it's just not fair you know and not even knowing of the person to make such a judgment of a general statement you know we have breaking free and what i see here is this look at the fool you know like i am free i'm ready to mingle i'm having a good time just be mindful that like if you are messing around with other people like you could be cruising for a bruising you know and somebody's feelings gonna get hurt and i know it feels good but somebody's king of cups like they are anchored in you know your person we have tattoos in these cards so they could be artistic they may literally be have tattoos mm -mm, many do um they may like to study they could this it could be a very reserved person they're also um quiet type but if they were to speak they pack a powerful punch but I see what I see is someone trying to manipulate someone and it got real unhealthy and it's a it's a king of cups energy who was being manipulated and they could have been be, being manipulated through sex again um, with the control this is a very aggressive energy and with the um, devil energy this is highly toxic okay um, so please be mindful of your behaviors break free definitely let loose but be mindful that all of our actions have consequences okay and because look love of a lifetime pisces gemini libra aquarius energy coming in from you and that stuck energy where it said stuck um stick in the mud where somebody could be stuck we have the hangman i think you're coming out of being stuck you know because this is coming in for you and it could be a potential love of a lifetime okay pisces so let's keep going and you're feeling this freedom um and the love is there and <laughs> you know you're just kind of like loving yourself and here and guarding your heart this card has come up um a lot <laughs> in the past couple of days let's see people guarding being you know guarding your heart let's take a break okay that's what i was feeling um, let's take a break and then we have secret admirer see someone and they want they're going to come in and talk to you um if if it is indeed this person it's quite possible um let's see what the karma is regarding a person who used manipulative tactics to try to control a love situation what's the karma if they did magic because we have the magician we have merlin here we have high priestess here if somebody's doing someone dirty and having a secret affair with someone well, let's see what is the karma for that wrong way let's see what's the karma for that for the sign of pisces let's see I want to keep going but i'm expecting a fuel delivery so i better end this we have regrets and destruction we'll pull one more and home issues okay so late bills are we having money problems we have issues with neighbors lease denied home repairs problems with necessities this is the karma for deeds you know you mess with somebody's household like somebody who's with someone maybe they have a family some of your karma 
you're not going to be able to afford yours. Your stuff is going to be denied. Your rent is going to increase. Your bills will be late. Um, destruction. It says self-sabotage and bad decisions. A temper. Anger causing problems. Uncontrollable anger. Isn't that double energy? Blacking out. Meeting their match. That is the, you're going to get, you know, someone's going to cream your corn. Someone's going to whoop that bottom, baby. Um, blacking out. You'll, again, addictions, um, overindulgences, of chemicals even, you know, um, food, whatever. Um, spending. You're not going to be able to afford your spending habits. Um, and needing anger management. Because you're going to get furious, right? Somebody is. It could possibly, it's whoever's attached to this. It may be the person that you interrupted. They may go off the deep end and start drinking or have problems and get out of control and argumentative and aggressive. It's not good, okay? Um, attracting drama. Yeah, drama, chaos. Oh, see, this is the karma is it, it, for those who are partaking in this situation. And regret. Oh, right? Um, constant thoughts of sadness, disappointment, repentance, and loss. So be mindful that every action has, you know, a consequence. And they, sometimes they're great and they're good consequence, but sometimes they result in loss. And, you know, this is what we bring on when we go against God's will. You know, it feels good, but there's, you know, enjoy it because it probably won't last. Let's just pull a couple. Oh. I'll pull a couple more. I know I'm expecting a delivery, but let's just see. We've got leadership, assuming command, and on the bottom, um, join or be joined, induction. So join or be joined and leadership. Are we leading a group? Maybe that would be um, something for you to join a group. Um, become a leader and assume command, sheriff. You better be careful because, like, the, the cops could be called, you know, where... It may not be a good, good situation. Where's the other one? Did it? Oh, on the bottom. What's the other one? Induction. Join or be joined. That could be jail. And then we have breaking free. <laughs> I don't know. This reading is not making any sense. I should quit. I should just quit. Take it or leave it. And tell me what it is. Um, jealousy, gossip, manipulation, that's all devil energy too, as well as like high priestess, magician, um, 888, lots of money, honey. Yeah, it, you could have lots of money, honey. Um, tired and need something new. Yeah, that's that um, fool energy, wanting an adventure. Fear of abandonment makes me leave first. I don't feel worthy. So there's some things that you need to work on, you know, or your person needs to work on. If, they, if this is an energy that is happening to you, where you're the receiver of the baloney, um, it could be because of fear it could be that somebody cut and run on you. It could be due to jealousy, gossip, manipulation going on. Um, like the defects of character that came out during this situation. Maybe it's the cause of the situation. I'm not sure. Um, and lots of money, honey. There could be financial blessings here. 888 and tired. Um, need something new tired and need something new and I'm just going to pull one randomly out of here for you. A very Merry Christmas Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Making peace. You will be making peace with the past. You'll be making peace with yourself. You're going to break free. 
Um, money is on the horizon. There, there could be lots of money. Don't let karma take your blessing from you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, don't let karma, because you will, you know, you'll regret it. Or, you know, take it, <laughs> take it like, it, take it on the chin, you know, um, like a champ. Either way, uh, be kind and good to yourself. And have, you know, if you celebrate the holiday, have a wonderful holiday. Um, it's coming up really quickly. So enjoy. And if you've made it this far, please consider to like the video and subscribe to the channel.